Hello and welcome back to another episode of Shapeless Skyrim, our love letter to the Skyrim modding community. I'm Tori. I'm Tyler. Today, are you looking for something like a new start? Are you looking to breathe some new life? Maybe your console is completely bugged out with all of the former mod data that you have and you want a fresh start completely. Well, this is actually the not the right episode for you if you want to click on our other videos. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. Back. This is how you refresh yes. Skyrim, how you restart almost, start a new, start a breathe new life into this game and not be as fucking buggy, I'll say it. Yeah, it really it's just to clear up all the bugs we had. We want to give Skyrim a fresh lick of paint. So all of the time codes for the mods are in the description below, but Tyler, let's get right into it. Oh. Okay, that only took like two hours to remake Jan. Yeah, now we got them perfect. Nothing we'd ever want to change. That's literally an exact replica. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect, but Tyler, we're going to screw them up a little bit. We're going to, we're you know, Jan's Why? perfect, but just to showcase mod number one, which is called Character Editor All-in-One Customization Pack, we're going to... We're going to change it up and see what else we can do here, because if you're starting a fresh game and you want to keep Skyrim fun, you might want to change up your character with some new additions here. So, Tyler, is let's cheat just... color lower. Is that new? <clears throat> no. Well, he does look a little red right now, but no, I don't think cheat color lower is a new thing. But the things that are new, let's start with the obvious ones. Tyler, go to hair. Now, there are a ton of new hair colors added with this. So let's just start. Sk oh, 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 mm, lovely. Mm hmm. Mm, mm, that's good. Oh, great. Very neon. Wow. wow, that's bright. Holy shit. They really love that. Oh, oh my, it, it just keeps going. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of orange. I like the representation that my kinfolk are getting in this, but that might be a bit much. Yeah, but. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So uh, you all I have are bad thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look at all my. Um, uh, society is bad. <laughs> we, yeah, society is bad. We live in one. Look at how I got this smile. <laughs> we have to. We can't. This is the funny man. We can't go with um, the, the trademarked character that you guys are all thinking of here. Yeah. What else we got in these haircuts? Oh. So that means you're a, you're a Twitch streamer. Yep. Yep. That is generic Twitch streamer yep. one, two. Okay. Oh wow, that's you got to choose, Tyler. What kind of what kind of hair do we want to give Jan for this? <laughs> wow, you can't even see the texture because it's so bright. Look at the eyebrows. Oof. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. That is that. Is, yeah, that is black reach hair. That's yeah. a kind of a DLC. I don't want to. I don't want to think about that. You don't want to think about that. No. Okay. Uh, I'd like to. I I'd, I'd like to do this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> where where, where he all only I have had... our bad thoughts. You can't say that. That's trademark. All I, That's have, a, all I have are mean thoughts. That's a trademark line. Uh, Tyler, additionally, <clears> what we can add with this mod is horns for every race. Oh, you're going to give them a beard too, are you? Now, where are these horns, Tori? These horns are going to be under Scar. Let's see. You want to know, know how I got those? Do, do you want to know how I got these horns? Do you want to know? <laughs> That's how our guy sort of does it. That's his brand. That's um, his royalty-free brand. There you go. So if you go through Scars here, you can have... Horns, textured horns for every race. We've shown off a mod. This is uh, actually the same creator. It's Jelaya. So we've shown off their horn mods before. But this is just going to add to that. And it puts it all in one in your in your uh, character editor here. So you can be the funny man with his green hair who does hate how about, how about the bad this? boy. How about this? All I have are horny thoughts. All I have are horny thoughts. That's how the funny man does his his dirty deeds. Yep, this looks good. Mm -hmm. Anything looks, else? There anything is else a, in yeah, here? there is a lot new. So there's uh, new eye colors, and you can actually have heterochromatic eyes, meaning the eyes are different colors. Instead of just the generic Skyrim, like one eye's white and the other one's regular. There's all kinds of different oh, stuff wow. in here. Okay. Oh, some piercing eyes. Don. He's bloodshot. <laughs> is he high? But maybe that's the funny man's sort of shtick. He likes having the green hair because it does remind him of the good sticky kind. He loves token. All I have are horny thoughts. <laughs> hey, those Wall Street bros on the train kind of suck. <laughs> all I have are horny thoughts. Well, <laughs> he has to say that legally after everything he said. <laughs> I got to like, <laughs> you can't do the dance, Tyler. It's trademark. <laughs> it's trademark. What else do we got? Uh, we also have, if you are a, like rolling as like a dark elf or something like that, you can have more human skin tones. Uh, same with 
uh, like Argonians and it doesn't always look great. Uh, but like you can have war paint if you're an Argonian now or, a, or an orc. Um, but the, yeah, the mod creator says it's not always gonna, it's not always gonna look perfect on there. Um, and there's oh, lip also, color. there's a ton, there's a ton of lip colors. There's also new hairstyles where they, the way they got new hairstyles is by literally like merging textures of hairs on top of each other to create combinations of the two. You want to know how I, how I got these lips marks? You want to <laughs> you know how I got these bad marks? These blemishes. Would you like to know the story of my blemishes? <laughs> said the funny man. <laughs> okay, let's check out these hairs. So let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. This is good stuff. It, it's not bad, and it could really work. If oh, we, wow. This is a very modern look. It so is. So they just kind of, like, cut the original. That's They just kind of... <clears throat> they, they wanted Conor McGregor, pretty much. Yeah, so just the merging is of the two... Bun? The is merging a, of, Yeah, it's like a Geralt of Rivia kind of look. Hey, these are not bad. These are not bad. I like this. Yeah, I wish... I mean... We kind of lean into us looking like a fucking lunatic, but <laughs> hey, that's the funny man's game. That's what he's into. So this adds a ton of new, just a ton of options for whatever type of... <laughs> he looks like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't make... Yeah, Jan, we just remade you in, oh my God, the, more in this I new tin? file so we could ruin you. More item. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, the funny man would be in on this. I feel like we're doing a bad job at showing this mod because we're just making a monster instead of like a really fucking cool character. Yeah, this is, well, this is cool. I don't know what you're... This is 2020 cool. This is kind of what we're going to get into now. Blue. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's rough. But hey, this gives you so many options if you want to create like, you're a, you're a, either like a dead race from this world or you are a, um, like mixed race or a new race that's maybe not in skyrim or you know something like that like if you're creating your own character type or like a daedra or something like that this gives you every fucking option you need for it and it's you're really sh you're really letting us make a nightmare right now Jeliah. So, tori i think i think we're heading straight for an oscar with this look yeah i think i think we are going to take this straight I think to the academy this best i think we're going to take best picture right now yeah well this is our guy yoker <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, yep, here we go. <laughs> Yoker. Perfect. Yoker. I love our beautiful creation, Tyler. Look at him in all of his glory. Oh, boy. So this opens up a lot of customizability. You can make your character so much better, or you can make a horrible nightmare that will get you an Academy Award. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get an oscar for this and it's your fault we're taking we made a billion dollars and it's your fault straight to the academy and i think straight into mod number two tyler what do you say we move on yes please god damn yeah it's uh it's bright and it is saturated and that is because when we're refreshing our game on a fresh file here we want to have some some mods that are going to help it look as good as it can so we've downloaded IA-92's Enhanced Console Graphics V3, and actually, mod number two is actually like a double mod. It's a combination here, because we also have one called Epic Crystal Clear Waters, which uh, is hard to see with this saturation right now. So let's just... Li but like, look at... You can, you can even tell right here. You can see through it. You can see through it. Like, you can clearly look and see the bottom of yeah. this of it, this water it so looks really good it looks really good it keeps the reflectivity of the water but it does uh, like make it more transparent and allows you to see through it and see the bottom and it, it's just it's what it says clear water crystal clear water god yeah this saturation like really is doing skyrim a favor it really is and it 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 has like a good fantasy feel so with this one um, Imperial Agent says that they wanted to improve the saturation and overall contrast of the game with no performance loss to the gameplay. And they were aiming for something, a more fantasy level that like you would see in the game's Fable, like the, the Fable series, or in Breath of the Wild, something like that. I was going to say, it, it, it looks like Breath of the Wild, like color scheme right now. Yeah, and we're in the evening, right? We kind of got that golden hour going on yeah. right now. So it's very orange. It's very and, kind to this area. And mm -hmm. It's looking good. It's a good refresh. And also, if you will notice... We don't have that weird fucking blooming effect, which is the best part of a refresh game. To be honest, that's why we kind of that like that was the main reason that we were like, okay, we gotta we gotta cut this and do a fresh file here because that's that old one wasn't working. And look at how great this oh, looks. Oh shit! Without don't, like don't, a bloom. Don't look over at that. Don't spoil the next mod. 
what's that? Don't even worry about it. Yeah, this is... I mean, it looks... Good. The trees all kind of blend right now, but I don't think that's the mod's fault. I think that's Skyrim's draw distance. That's Yeah, like, Skyrim's draw you distance. you weren't supposed to see this far. Don't look. Todd's like, don't fucking look. Tyler, I think we should take this and uh, just give it a look in a different region as well. Okay, so not the orange color. Maybe let's get like a like a, like a a bluer color, not snow. Snow is hard to show off saturation. Maybe, it is, yeah. Let's, maybe uh, something in like the... the um, What's the Markarth area? Sure. Oh, yeah. Real bright. Yeah. Oh, and we got that kind of like pink gradient in the sky. Yeah. That's looking pretty all good. Of, well, I mean, all of the gradients are kind of naturally there already in Skyrim, but yeah. they're really hidden. Mm -hmm. What this mod does a great job of is like taking them out and like, look at that. Yes, it's very bright, but that if you're looking at something like this, like if yeah. you're actually on like a mountain and you're looking down, like it is fucking bright. It's not like you can crystal clear see everything in front of you. Right. Yeah. So tweaking that, like any type of tweak to contrast is obviously going to bring like the, it's the difference between the lightest lights and the darkest darks. So it's like oh, pushing the bright, good. bright to be like kind of blown Super out in the darks to have like that good crisp shadow to them and everything. And it, I really do like it this a lot. It looks super good. Like, this view mm -hmm. looks really good. Yeah, it does look good. It does look very Breath of the Wild. And I'm going to say it. Yeah, if you just, just look around, like, the environment a little bit, it kind of has, like, a... Just, like, the, the rocks are a little bit darker. It looks like it's not quite so, like... Uh, I don't know how to put this other than like everything like the trees and the grass and everything are all like very properly exposed like it's they all have, been very properly they, exposed by the game's camera yeah like they all have very like well varying and not such blending colors like the grass doesn't blend with the tree doesn't blend with the sky doesn't blend with right. the rocks things anymore things stand out a little more yeah things stand out and it they looks have good. that increased contrast. And my God, this view is so goddamn pretty. It really is. And just, I love having no performance into it. It's great. And it's such a light thing. And I've, I've noticed just as playing, and we're going to keep it on so you'll see this as we go on, but the weather really affects how it looks. So as, as the weather changes, you'll have massive changes to how the lighting and colors are affected by it. And it's really cool. Oh. There is one thing we I think we should show off that's maybe... Not my favorite part of it. However, I will say that it, with this mod, you get a further distance. Like, if you want to, like, cut that off, like, this mod will allow you to see, like, look at that. I can see Dragon's Reach from here. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you want to cut that off, I might download another mod to, like, you know, fog it up a little bit more. Right. Yeah. Or, like, shorten that draw distance. But yeah. I love this. I think this looks awesome. It makes me want to, like hop into Skyrim and go like, oh, I want to run down there and see what that's about. Right. Like, I kind of like that it doesn't cut off the loading, like the, the distance yes, loading. Yes, it looks like so good and it makes me want to explore it. Yeah. It's just like Breath of Tyler, you see it? You can go there. <gasps> this is just like 2017 game of the year, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Holy shit. See, this is what I mean. Like, look at how when you get the blue sky out, Look at how it's so radically different here. Yeah, like, it's, it's like very the blacks crisp, are like crushed. Very bright, yeah. They really like... Like that harsh directional sunlight coming in. Like just... Yep. This looks like fun fantasy that you just want to run around and explore because it's so saturated and it has such a good look to it. Fuck. I really love this. Yeah, the... Holy shit, the, the whites are like super white. The blacks have been completely darkened. It this looks is crazy. crazy. And it looks almost as good as some of the ones we had back on our Xbox episodes, like when we had a really good lighting mod for that. Yeah. Yeah, this looks fantastic. This looks good. good job, Imperial Agent. But God, you got to shorten that intro on your videos. Fucking Christ. Or just exclude it. Okay, now let's go to night. Now, this is what I don't love so much about the mod, is that the nighttime is pitch-ass black. You can look at the clouds and, like, see that it's, like, still clearly, like, mm -hmm. day but turned black yeah well here's the thing though is like there are clouds at night still obviously <laughs> and but, well, where is this light but, coming from it's the moonlight i get it but it, and I, in a, in some ways it is realistic if the moon isn't out in full like the, yeah there's no light pollution in the world of skyrim it's not like you're in new york city at night where it's still bright as fuck like it would be pitch black but as a video game this isn't ideal no, it's it's really not. I don't know what's happening right now, but you're going to need unlimited mage lights for You're, you're always going to need unlimited mage lights. But hey, there's plenty of people that I know that would want to like have the darkest nights because they like that it has that sort of like sense of realism to it. You think we so, can hit Dragon's Reach from here? 
I don't think Todd made the game go that far. That's going to be a, this is going to be a great mod to, to refresh your Skyrim experience, to, to give you, to breathe that new life, to make it feel like, Hey, this, this is a great yeah. looking game. Yeah. Like, even though it's 10 years yeah. old, this is a great looking game. I want to jump back into it. And you know what? I want to try something new mods. Tyler, I think we should, uh, we should hop into mod number three. Uh, should we clear the path into mod number three? Yeah. Should we light the way into mod number three? Yep. Tyler, just go to mod number three. Okay. Now, Tyler, if anything in Skyrim needs some refreshing, it's going to be the things that you see the most, which for us is Whiterun. So, I don't know what you mean. We never go there. We decided, as voted on by the community over on our community tab on YouTube, Green White Run, and this is a Yuki mod, so it's of course going to be, be fucking good. amazing. And off the bat, just on the exterior of White Run here, yeah, look at these new textures. Like that's that's all been retextured to look like this is much more methodically placed br br brick, brook, brick, brick. Jesus Christ! Oh wow, I even the aneurysm. stairs. <laughs> yes, even the stairs look different. My and goodness, Yuki. Yuki is so good at retexturing things to look just better. They, they, it's the same feeling, but better. It, it really is. Yeah, so even, I love how just even the entrance the here exterior to Whiterun. Of, yeah, the exterior of Whiterun looks so good. What the fuck is that? No, nope, that's from Realm of Lorcan when I started the new file. Oh. Don't even look at that. We already showed that in that famous video. Episode. Our highest viewed video ever made. The highest viewed video ever made on, on the internet. On YouTube. On yep. YouTube. Don't fact check that, but just... Uh, God, Tyler, these bricks look so fucking there. cool, they, Yuki. And even look at the door, adding the white run kind of like sculpted wood on the sides of the door. Just gives you such a clean feeling. I love it. Yeah. Let's the get inside this brick. green fucking white run, Tyler. Yeah, I want to see the inside. You've got me excited, Yuki. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yep. So God Tyler, basically damn. everything... Oh, I, I kept big guard for you. I made big guard Yay! again, just for everyone. I knew we couldn't live without them. Everything in White Run has pretty much been retextured. Even the roads have been retextured. The roads are retextured. The roofs, the brick. It's far more contrast. Oh, the wood. Yep. The wood looks so good. Yep. The wood looks crisp. The, the roofs, roofs have all been so good. retextured and recolored. They're blue. They're blue roofs. They are. It, it does add like a bit more of like a like an upscale feel to the yeah, to and the it town. feels more um fantasy like it yeah. feels more like um like oh this is like a a medieval fantasy place yeah fuck this looks good yeah a bit more like foresty and there's there's obviously been some trees added and green grass added and this maybe needs you don't like the red love. you don't like the red it just it sticks out like a sore fucking thumb Tyler, it's meant to. How else are you going to get business, all right? True. I don't know a lot about business, but they probably know more than I do. Right. So the interiors of the buildings have not been touched. This is purely an exterior visual mod for this kind of stuff. Fuck. All of the nav meshing works still. So, you know, obviously all of the people in the town know where to walk. Fuck, this looks so good. Yeah. And it's it, the great thing is that our community voted on seeing green white run, but there's another one called brown white run, which is going to give it a different feel where it's like it's going to have more of like a natural organic tones, not the blue roofs and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it's still the same like a brick retexturing and everything. So you can pick whatever suits, whatever floats your boat on that one. Yeah, get them, Yoker. Society. They know they know that no the, talking. They, I only have bad thoughts. They know that the Yoker has very bad thoughts and they want to put him down like a lame horse because they can't handle Jesus Christ. They can't handle society. Yeah. They they want to obey all the rules and whatnot and Yoker says no 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 no. Yoker. That is I ha 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 is what he says that's yes that is his famous line um in our uh, our lore for that tyler go up to uh the dragon's reach area let's maybe god this looks so fucking doesn't it it looks so amazing yeah yuki. as always yuki just never disappoints like just the most phenomenal retextures no, and like the, the 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 ground looks amazing the stairs look better the stairs like they it just looks everything looks so great. much better, Yuki. How the yep. fuck do you do it? Yeah, you piss me off, okay? You I piss know. me off. It's wild. So like, the, I mean, that's obviously like all the wood's been retextured. The bridge has had uh, been like retextured with new wood and everything too. Still got the big uh, funny arrow bucket. If you'd like to get oh, some funny arrows, there's funny arrows. If you want to shoot some little boys at people, 
Yeah, I would like to do that. But we don't have any bows. We it's don't a have fresh any... file. We got a lot of catching up to do. You have committed crimes against Sky oh my God, I am above the law. No one can see you up here. Not even God. And now you're part of my bad thoughts. How'd you get that scar? Hey, he has a hey, <laughs> hey, a hey, bow. Uh, hey, a bow. <laughs> Perfect. Let's put some little boys on the roof. Let's go launch some little boys into Green White Run. Much better. That's what you were missing, Yuki. There weren't little boys pinned to the roof. You needed some little boys. That little boy was a bit flaccid <laughs> in his firing. Oh, God. <laughs> Gross, Tori. <laughs> you, could, <laughs> you could go to jail for saying that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Look at how dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Just launch one into the sky. Goodbye, little boy. How far a little boy go? You think he gonna come straight back down on us? I think he might. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. You, this is also what you need to refresh, Sky. Now oh, yeah. you can see. This is the great thing about a fresh file is now we can have fun without running into bugs that piss us off so bad. Yeah, Tyler, just go stand at the at the cusp of uh, <laughs> uh, stand at the cusp of uh, Dragon's Reach here and just look out uh, upon our new our new green white run. Just okay. Not okay, that's well, not. not that I didn't one. mean look out that way. That's not white run. That's and you can see the crystal clear water right here too. Like you can look at you can see the bottom of the pool. Look at all these mods. Oh my god, yeah. This looks... Fuck, we didn't... Sh like... Like, I feel like we barely got to even look at the get, crystal clear water. We barely got to look at the crystal clear water, and look how good it looks even inside. Yeah. I didn't know it would affect, like... Everything. Yep. Everything. Unless it's, like, running water where it has to have, like, the texture to look, like, foamy and stuff. Like, obviously, right over there. Um, that but looks yeah, you so can, good. It looks... It does look more realistic, honestly. Wow. Yeah, that's a great refresh. Yeah, it's it's a good. And then look at and this. And then look at this. Big guard. Look, it just looks beautiful. It looks so much better, and it's such a refreshing feel to White Run, the town that everyone is. Well, I it's feel like I'm kind of sick of. Yeah, it's our favorite town, but I'm also like, I've kind of seen it. It's yellow. You know what I mean? Like when I think of it, I think of yellow, and this just gives it a brand new, really, really great look. And Yuki never disappoints. But Tyler. We're not done making shit green. Oh, what? Let's move on to mod number four. For some green? <laughs> we know he likes some green. Yeah. You want to know where I got this bong? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tyler. You know how outside of White Run, it's always like really dead, gross brown grass? Yeah, no, it looks bad. It does. It does look bad. But what if it was green? That seems like it would make Skyrim feel a little bit better for a new place. Almost like a refreshing way to keep it interesting in 2020, huh? Exactly. Well, why don't you, why don't you look down? Holy Boom. shit. That is some green grass. Not only that, Tyler, it's mod number four, which is called New Grass slash Green Grass. It changes the dirty tundras and reach grass to wonderful green grass. This looks like some new grass. This it, is that this new is. new. That's that new shit that all the kids love. This is that this is that new grass that we've been token because we love that good shit. Right. This is all, uh, hey, hey now, what's that? <laughs> hey now, hey now. Hey now. <laughs> Hey, Tyler, what the fuck is that, buddy? I hey, know. bud. Let's put a little boy in it. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'd like to stick a little boy in it. Even on a fresh playthrough, Skyrim's got some hey, some things you just can't would, get away from. It wouldn't be Skyrim if it wasn't bugged to shit, but this looks really good. Yeah. Like, it adds a really new feeling to this area out here. It feels fresh, although I will say the draw distance of it mm -hmm. does not interpret it very well. No, it still sees that as being brown, like that brown orange kind not of until you colors. Get, not until you get closer does it feel more appropriate. Yeah. But just, yeah, kind of in the immediate area, though, it, it feels really new because we've all seen this area a million times, and it always has that dead tundra look to it. And though the distance is, yeah, not great, having the new green grass there, I think, makes it feel a lot more um just lively you know what yeah. i mean because it is obviously living grass and the eagle-eyed viewers might have seen that when we were kind of over in the markarth area there's also new green grass over in that area where it basically changes the dead grasses to you're gonna see it in a lot of places yeah <laughs> i forgot we had the little boy <laughs> look at him stick out of the ground so triumphant get him in the ass <laughs> damn oh please Please get a kill. Oh. 
Tyler, you fucking got it. Now that's the most refreshing thing you can see in Skyrim. A little boy sticking out of the ground with that dead thousand yard stare. It's like he's growing like a plant. <laughs> My dad says I'll be in the army. <laughs> we do have one final mod that's going to help Skyrim feel very fresh and very new. So what do you say we get into it? Let's see the final refreshed mod of the day. Let's oh. cross over into mod number five. Yeah. <laughs> you got him. So, Tyler, this mod is the oldest mod we're going to be showing today. It's, it's definitely not a new mod or even a recent mod, but it's going to help if you don't have it already. It's going to help Skyrim feel renewed, and it is called Bridges of Skyrim. Look at that. That's a new bridge. Yes, it's, it's a mod that's it simply replaces all the vanilla stone bridges with unique custom bridges, and they're oftentimes thematic to whatever region or town they are closest to. So for this one, it's a wooden bridge. Uh, yeah, just it, it's a wooden bridge, but it's, you know, kind of got extensions. There's the hanging, not drawbridge, but like the whatever swaying bridge yep. aspect of it there. <laughs> it, and it, it fits in with like this environment, how there's already like exactly. wooden bridges over here. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, this is like the, the reach. <laughs> We're in the reach, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, We're yeah, this, is, this would be. This would be a wooden bridge. You know, it's not a major read for the reach, not a major walkway. So it's going to be a little bit, you know, not not so fancy, not so built up. Just a simple bridge to cross. I like it. I, like I it know too. there's far more. There's a ton of bridges. Some of them are like some of the old bridges. If it's like maybe near a waterfall or something are even replaced with like land bridges or stone bridges that are like built out of the environment rather than like built with brick or something like that, which is cool. Um, but Tyler, I want you to kill this man with a little boy, and then let's go check out some some more of these hot new bridges we got. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. no! He shot one back. He has little boys too. No. This is a little boy battle. <laughs> Bad name, I call it. Hey, is this a new bridge? Hey, Tyler, that's a new bridge. That's a that's a bridge of Skyrim right there. That's a good looking new bridge. Yeah, and I like the I like the hole in it. <laughs> well, it's not done being built, Tyler, so it's, that's not actually a feature. Uh, no, we're in the Falkreath region, so it is, as you would expect from, like, the kind of mill region, the small town. It's a, you know, built Stone with, bridge replaced with a... Yeah, a wooden bridge that has, like, the big tree trunks and... Almost like the top of, like, a, a barracks or something, like a guard's barracks. Yeah. I think is where they took that design from. Yeah. And it looks like this, it fits a lot better in the region than just, oh, yeah, they built this hardy stone bridge. Like, no, they built it out of the materials that are available to them. It's a good bridge. That's a real good bridge. That's I like a that bri bridge. This That's is a bridge a I could get into. This is a refreshing bridge, if I had to say so myself. Yeah, I would, I'd cross the shit out of that bridge. Fuck, I would cross the shit out of that bridge, too. How about we get a different bridge? Let's go find more over. bridges, Tyler. God, I'm so horny for these bridges. Hey, Tyler, Haunting Brew Meadery has also been changed uh, with our green white run mod. Yeah, but I thought this was mod num this was mod number bridge. Mod number bridge, it is. Uh, if you look Whoa. right over there, look at these white run bridges looking hot as fuck. These are some f these are some sexy bridges. These are some real fuck, good. This actually look this actually <laughs> looks really good. No, that's what I'm saying. And because it's, you know, it's white run, the trade capital of Skyrim, it would have like a bit more of a prominent entrance to. They the, can put more money in their bridges. Yeah, they they put a lot of money behind those bridges. Like that's that was when Jarl, uh, uh, what's his name, Jarl, uh, Bridge they, Boy. Jarl Bridge Boy was like, I think we need to have some good ass bridges for our folk to cross. Oh wow! Even the like the planks on it look really cool. And they match Whiterun's interior, mm -hmm. which is which is great. And this one, like a little, just some more stonework to it. Yeah. Just looks really, really solid. It, uh, I mean, like, like solid physically, yes. Yeah, 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 like that. I don't could, think I could knock it over. A big, yeah, you're not going to knock that over. A big old ox could cross that bad boy. It ain't breaking. That's a good ass fucking bridge. That, okay. I wasn't completely sold on this mod, but this sold right here. Yeah. This area right here in Whiterun sold me. And guys. Every fucking bridge has pretty much been replaced, and it's made more thematic to wherever it is, whether that be a land bridge or a, a prominent entrance to the city. 
we're not going to be able to go find every bridge to show you, but but you're going to see a difference. You're going to see bridge. a big difference. And the the whole point of this episode is to have all these things that, as you're naturally playing through the game, you're going to be able to shoot little boys at them. I mean, uh, you're going to be able to like refresh it, and you're going to be able to just you're going to have fun exploring you're through start Skyrim completely again. new. Yeah, it's going to feel like. Hey, this is a good feeling again. Like looking at this, I'm like, oh, I want to go run down there. Right. Like, Does, wanna... It it feels like this is like a like a Skyrim remake or something almost. Like we want it to just feel rejuvenated and fresh and get you excited to hop back into a new game and keep this playing Skyrim, Skyrim because no other games have come out. Literally none. There's no no other game worth a damn has come out since Skyrim, and that's a fact. Don't look into it. Don't look into it, but it is a fact. Yeah. And this way, you'll keep Todd from haunting you. Because if you do stop playing Skyrim, Todd does come after you. Uh, oh, he slowed you down. Stop. He's giving you. He's giving you the old. Why just you stop? Why just? Why just spill your beans? Why'd you do it, Robert Pattinson? Why'd you spill your beans on me? You, you son of a bitch. There, he's wearing a little boy on a fresh new bridge in the beautiful new Skyrim. <laughs> And it wouldn't be Skyrim without this. Wow. <laughs> hey, Look at him go. <laughs> hey, Tyler, what do you say? We call it an episode. And then he just ended right there. <laughs> you know what? The perfect thing to end Skyrim with. Yep. Fuck it. That was good. All right. Let's get to the outro. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Shapeless Skyrim. If you have any mods you'd like to suggest, you could do so on Twitter. I will be at Lurking Lion. I will be at Subtly Cool, or you can contact us at Shapeless Media yeah. on Twitter. Now you can recommend any mods you want, because before we were kind of limiting you. Yes. Now you can do whatever you want, because now we don't have the weird bloom, because we have successfully refreshed Skyrim. We yep. are on a new file. Everything's going to be good, guys. Don't worry. Recommend whatever mods you want. We can do followers again. We can have, like, interiors Anything. that aren't fucked up. It's it's a whole new world now that we got well, this whole... It's, it's, well, it's still Skyrim. It's still Skyrim. It's still Let's Skyrim. Let's not get ahead Skyrim. of ourselves. It's, it's refreshed Skyrim. Mm -hmm. It feels new. It feels fun. So please send in those suggestions. It's like your wife after plastic surgery. It feels new and fun. Um, you like that one? I loved it. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next Tuesday for more Shapeless Skyrim. Thank you for watching. Yeah, this fucking hot broad was fucking wanking me all fucking night.